Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Workers and Resources focusing on the New Biomes DLC. We are in our tropical paradise, as it were, and it is definitely a uh, relatively uh, paradiso, I would say. Uh, we definitely have things rocking and rolling, and at least in our little community here, everything seems to be decently well. Now, apparently citizen happiness is too low. I don't know. We're slowly slowly going down that route but we can see here that the uh reasons for the death of a child has been quite a bit they're unable to get clothes or electronics uh, some of them are even starving so i think what we need to do is probably address that over here and build uh, we're gonna have to destroy some more areas they're demanding that i do so i can just tell that they are and so some simple ways that we could definitely go into uh into ways that they can you know not die anymore but in the first episode, we established our small little city, which is right on the outskirts of the village that was here originally. We provided them with a decent number of services. In my opinion, I think they're fine. So we also established a very, very, very nice coal industry thing we've got going on. We are almost at full capacity across the board, and we are cranking out stuff. The real question, why are we, oh, we got mixed waste coming in. So we're gonna have to work on mixed waste, and we're gonna have to figure out how to uh, export some of our power, because we are definitely 100% going to build at least one coal power plant, at least. Now these are like, oh, that's actually, that's actually a big number of buckaroonies, but I think we could totally do it, and I don't think it'd be an issue at all. And then maybe we can get into some things like maybe some entertainment and things of that nature. But first and foremost, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed. If you do, you know how to do it and support the channel by simply giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, leaving any comments in the comment section. I do apologize that the second episode of So Late was meant to come out over the weekend, but things just got too busy. You know how it is and what it do. So let's get into it. We're going to resolve the issue of the starving people right off the bat. Now, I'm not so dumb as to destroy a temple. So we're not gonna destroy the temple. But what we are gonna do is we are gonna look at our options for food. Now we could do a tiny little grocery store that would give us food and meat, but they are also complaining about a lack of clothes. So I do think we need to build just a small shopping center. It doesn't have to be a lot, but we do definitely want one that can do both. This one is cheaper. This one would have access to everything. Can I squeeze that in there? I thought for a second there was a little green. There is a green spot. There's no way. But the thing is, it does, wouldn't have access via via a road, which is fine. So we don't need anything crazy. But I do think we do need something like this. And as we can see here, it would service most, if not everybody. Like if I got okay, basically let's just let's just get it to okay. That would service almost everybody. Like I'm obviously not gonna do two different ones am i really am i really about to do two of them is that really necessary i don't know that it is it might be necessary let's go ahead and do it we're going to cater to the people here Blah. um you know I, I care about them but i don't know that i care about them that much uh, but regardless we'll do it we're going to go ahead and drop one right there we're going to make sure that it's got a road to it I'm not sure why a crossing isn't allowed here is it because we need to have a higher standard we might need to how do i upgrade I know there's a way to do it. I know there is. Left shift. There we go. Is that the reason, though? Well, I just want to let it be known that you guys are the reason why I'm not allowed to do that. Uh, they just didn't like that I was building a, a road there. Simple as that. Let me go ahead and get our grids back on because I do lack me some grids. I say that, and then I'm going to immediately turn it off. Got some really funky road systems that we have to do now. Um, let's go ahead and peel off here. Yeah, so basically there's just so many itty bitty tiny roads that it's causing some logistical issues. So that's super duper fun. And it means that my road system is jank as all get out. And I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I want to have logical pathing, but no, no. The locals don't care about logical pathing. Okay, so we have that there, which we should be able to, and then that should allow most of the population here to be able to access this. And so again, we're going to go with, I don't really need electronics. There we go. We're going to auto purchase that. People are going to have lots of lots of fun here. There we go. All right, cool. And we're giving them jobs. So it's just like a win-win scenario here. Now, in terms of who all can reach it, 
Sweet, that's great. Because even in the shopping center over here, no one in this area can go and get it. So we have a great access here. We need to build some good access here. And I'm thinking just like right smack in the middle of town. Like, I, 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 I hate to be doing this, but you guys are the ones who want this. So just remember, when you're upset, be upset at yourselves. Because I didn't do any of it. You did. There we go. And then we just need to draw some pathways. Which are relatively easy to do. Can I can I finally do... Oh, is it because it's over a power line? You gotta be kidding me, Smalls. Take it. Take it that way. There we go. And then we can totally do that number. Is there any way... Oh, I didn't want that. That's actually a path with our sewer. <laughs> I mean, at least people can go to it now, rather, where they couldn't before. There we go. Okay, cool. And I do believe everyone is kind of serviced in that area. Okay, great. So what we should see happening is we should see people able to purchase large numbers of clothes. Uh, oh, no, this is a different one than I wanted. <gasps> no, we got to delete it. Now they should have all the fun things. And now, go like that. We're going to auto-purchase, and they are going to be satiated. Now we should see, aha! See that happiness change? We have lots of people now able to get clothes. They should no longer be starving. Uh, we shouldn't have a lack of meat. or Now we have unable to get a hospital, but we'll be able to do all that stuff here in just a little bit. Because, well, that's not the focus. We do want to make them happy and satiated. Totally. Uh, but what we care more about is that we do have 70 unemployed workers. Ambulances haven't arrived because we don't have ambulances. We can purchase. There we go. We'll purchase a handful of them. And we'll be good there. All right, so we have a secondary issue. And the secondary issue is that uh, we are not exporting coal because we have some mixed waste issues. Now, this is uh, burnable and construction waste is what we're seeing here. And then the other waste. So we got to figure out the other waste scenario. But in this case, we can do two things. One, we can separate out this waste. And two, we can burn it. And so that's what we're going to do. We have plenty of space here at the foothills of this little pond. Um, and what better? Well, no, we may do a, an expansion there. I'm trying to think of the best place to shove all this junk. Hmm. I feel like this little strip is calling my name for a district. We also have all this land, but I do kind of want to expand that way. Kind of wrap around the pool or the pool, the lake. But we can also expand on the river. There's so many options. All right. So I think I have a master plan, but it is a little more involved. So what we're going to do, we're going to wait just a minute because I do want to get my coal plant going. Oh, we do have a new vehicle type as well. Very nice, very nice. Uh, but I really do think that we could probably crank out two of these suckers. I really think that would be a viable option. And we could get two power plants running, which would like supply power more than we would ever, ever need ever in our lives. A hundred percent. And then we'd be able to rock and roll and export power, which is kind of one of the big deals that I want to do. So I think we could do that. The real question is, how far away can I go? I could actually go a really decent ways. Now, admittedly, like that's on the ground, and I don't like that. So we may not do that because I need to be able to build the aggregate system to where everything is above each other so we can do some expansion ideas. So I think by having it sort of like this, we can then build across and then be able to support our, our people as we want to. So I think that's the best route. Uh, right there. We can go and get our coal power plant. We're going to... I think this is probably far enough away to allow anything to pass underneath. We're going to go ahead and do that. So that's good. That's going to be nice. And I'm wondering if I couldn't just do... Let's actually delete this. I'm, I'm super picky about my roads. Because I just want them to be perfecto. You know what? We can just go right here. I think that'd be fine. And so that's going to build. That's going to cost us quite a pretty penny. But again, we could start exporting out of here. And then we have the, the best scenario ever because we're, we are actually exporting all of, our, all of our goods. And so I do believe that's just a regular old transformer. Am I right? Yeah. So there's only a small or low, what is it called? Medium voltage wires. But we do have our big voltage wires, which I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull, let's see, we're going to go like to here. 
and then we're going to come across and we're going to hook up our our major system i'm wondering if i shouldn't just do something like right here and it'll build which is great we're also going to slow it down to normal time and then if i don't build another high voltage switch here that just kind of feeds off of the last one and build a nice little high voltage center i just don't think we need 18 volt <laughs> 18 megawatt i think that's a little overkill so we go there and then we build oh what did i build here did i build the big boy what did i build it's this guy cool nice okay and then what it's going to start doing building without drinking walker water we have no reese or no workers okay that's fine how many do we need we only need 20 of them and so what i can do here is i can actually let's go ahead and get two really small buses I mean, they don't have to be a lot. Uh, more than seven passengers, obviously. Uh, let's go with total capacity. We don't even have a small bus. We have a seven passenger one and an eight passenger. But outside of that... Okay, well, let's go with the super cheap option. 40 miles an hour, 46. We're going to go with that. Okay, and then here... Uh, do we still have a, like a, a ton of people waiting always? We don't really... There we go. We do over there. So we're going to totally bring both of those people, uh, both of these things over here. I know I did the wrong thing. Calm down there. And then we are going to drop them directly over here to the power plant. We're going to launch it. And then I'm going to wait just like, you know, 10 or 20 seconds. Although it may be good enough where they don't need that. Our health is fine. This is going up though, which is great. Death of a child has drastically gone down. Brilliant. I think this works. And then again, we're going to copy the schedule here. And then, I mean, I, I feel like they would probably be able to walk to work. There we go. Aggregates running. Bada bing. Bada boom. We got lots of workers. We now have tons and tons of full storage. That's not going to change. And we are now making a crap ton. Right? We are. Maximum production per workday. So now what we need to do is we can go, hey, no, I'm going to export. And that's going to give us just a little bit of funds, I think. Yeah, you can see we're exporting just a wee little bit. It looks like our voltage isn't great. That just because we're struggle busing over here. Our voltage and our wattage is not great. So I'm wondering if I didn't just screw up. And we do need that, uh, that crazy, the crazy high wattage. For our main our main power supply so let's go ahead and do that that's fine 18 megawatts just remember you guys are making me do this and then we are just going to 18 megawatt because that is going to provide more power and more wattage boosting all the way through and we are just like i'm wondering if we maybe don't have to build more substations there we go look at that we are drastically outpacing uh, importation so we are actually making money already that's not too bad i like that a lot but you can see they're starting to decrease quickly so all right so we need to move into waste and we need to move into waste very quickly <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that so we have lots of waste options we can see here by going over the waste we have 20 percent construction 20 percent burnable and then 20 percent other and we're going to have to have a rather large fleet that's going to have to be able to handle the other uh, the other waste. Unless you guys know of a way to do that. Because I, I honestly, I don't. I don't know what all to do. So what we can do here is we do have uh, a, a gravel recycling plant. Which consumes construction waste. Which remember, that may only be like a one-time deal. But we need to also do burnable waste. And we need to also have a way to get rid of ash. So what we're going to do is we are going to pump even more and lean into. Uh, let's see. We want an incinerator. heat. No, we don't want a heating plant because we're not experiencing heat. But I do want a power plant, which can then feed into the system. Now, that doesn't have to be anything fancy. In fact, we could just do it right here. We need to be able to do it where they can tap in. And we do have a, a tap in center there. And we do have the heavy, the heavy, the heavy hitters. So we do have power lines there, which is good. We need those power lines. I just need to be able to make sure that people can, one, get to there, but two, then be able to uh, find a way to export all the stuff. I'm going to go right there and hope that that does the job. 
And I do want to make sure that we are in uh, the good standing. Now, what we need to do, let's see. So that's going to be, we need to import all the construction, or not the construction waste, the burnable waste, which is fine with me. We can totally do that. And then what we're going to do, rather than go directly to the source, and we're not going to have those guys drop it off, we're going to have some, some storages. I'm trying to figure out what that looks like, though, because what we don't want is I need to make sure we can do the right kinds of waste, if that makes sense. This is our incinerator power plant, and then we have the dump here. I'm wondering if this is where this kind of like my knowledge is, is completely shot in terms of these advanced systems. So this can take in a ton of stuff, and one of these is very different than the other. Empty weight, maximum speed. I just remember like one of these, this is a large container platform. We're going to do, that's fine. So we're going to do quite a few. It's a big, heavy investment. But basically what we want, how much can it take? 6.3 tons. And we can see here that we have 34 tons. So I'm going to, for the for the time being, uh, we might just do, uh, let's go ahead and have, boom, like that. And we're going to go ahead and have you start. And then for you, we're going to go and start there. So they're going to be pumping out pretty quick. We don't have any mixed stuff here that we have to worry about. They don't have any mixed stuff either. There's a little bit of mixed waste here, but this is where we can kind of be uh, a little more lenient because for instance, we do have mixed waste here and you can see it's biological and burnable waste. So what we want to make sure that we do, and this is what I don't know, is I don't know, okay, it can only be one type per. So I don't know what the rest of the mixed waste goes. Uh, and that's where like my knowledge is a little bit outside of the realm of, of what's going on with anything. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. They've picked up a good amount of mixed waste. Now, I don't know where this person's going. Oh, you're going into the space. Okay, yeah, but you can't pick anything up. And so let's see what he does. He has taken construction waste and other waste and has dumped everything. He Okay, so he can't dump anything here. Okay, so that's a problem. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where the game gets a little bit interesting here uh, in that. Yes. Okay, cool. Nope. I know what's going on. So they didn't dump there because uh, their routes were a little bit funky. Uh, they were they were definitely funky. A hundred percent. So we can totally have him run that standard route again. What I need is I need to go to this guy. So you can see here, we told them go to the coal mine. And then we told them to unload. Now, naturally, they're just going to do that. They're going to assume that your second route is, is, is where things are. So now what should happen is that they should load 100% of anything. Now, we can specify as well. So we could say mixed waste if we wanted to. And then we could say, hey, you're going to unload everything and be done there. So that should hopefully uh, change things out. And then they should start dumping the mixed. Yep. Okay. Nope. They still did that. So the thing didn't save, which is fine. We're learning. We're learning, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to say, hey, mixed waste only. Not that it should matter. But then he, um, this SKD, SKD 706RT should. There we go. Boom. That's fine. We should be able to start dumping people. And they should start working like that. And then, again, we're starting to, to de, uh, take everything out. So as soon as they start, then the coal production will go back up again. So right now, we are just still consuming quite a bit. But you can see here, like, we're actually doing really good. We're actually making money. And then once again, once they start making stuff here, we should be ready to rumble in the jungle. Now, what we need to do, now that that's up and operational, is we need to take couple of these boyos who do 6.3 tons and they need to start taking out the waste of all of these smaller buildings and so i really think that like one dude could do the work of all these buildings nope we're gonna load nope we're gonna load are there any other main buildings i guess there's actually that one too that's fine we'll actually make that his last place because then he can come over and he can go here. And there he can unload all of the stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and hit launch. Is it most effective? No. But hey, looky here. We now have people uh, exporting 
Oh, and then we have a ton of exported uh, construction waste. So it is filtering things through. That's freaking brilliant. Okay, I love that. I love that because we do have a way to uh, make our... Uh, we have a gravel recycle, which I think is what we're going to end up needing. The thing is, like, it's not super intuitive. And so, for instance, what we need to do for our gravel, that's, that is a, uh, an, that's not miscellaneous. It is miscellaneous. So I don't need a gravel quarry, but instead what I need is a storage system for all of my aggregate stuff. So I think that would be fine, but the kicker is that we have to actually, like, make a place for it. And so what we need to do from the looks of it is I need to find a storage option. We actually may just have to do this in a separate place, just like totally and entirely. And okay, so context here, because I think context is extremely important. The purpose and the reason why I'm really excited to start getting this sort of stuff done is because eventually I do want to uh, have services where we're doing realistic building. Because if we have to build from our resources, we could say, okay, cool. Well, this is going to take X number of, of gravel to produce, or we need wood, we need those other things. And so this is where I really want to lean into the realism aspect, because this game is so focused on doing awesome things like that, that that's what I really am passionate about. It's just going to, it's going to take a while to get there. That's, that's all. So we can totally do construction waste here. And we could kind of have this be our obviously industrial center. Uh, and it's working pretty well. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on. But I think it still works. We need to make sure we are tied to power and sewer and all of those things. And so we can totally slip on in here, I think. I think we can slip right in here and be okay. There we go. Because I do kind of want everything to just be centralized. And then that's where we can out. Uh, we can do our gravel outpost now they're going to just straight up give us gravel so we don't need a processing plant am i correct in that assumption so it's gonna yeah all right cool so they're already they're already rocking so what we are going to do is we are going to say hey i want you to load up construction waste and i want you to drop it off here now they only do 6.3 which i mean like, I feel like the rotation here, they're going to be able to keep up with supply and demand. And if they aren't, then that's fine. We can totally do that and, and work on that. But now, again, so we need our aggregates. This is where we can be like, okay, I don't need a huge thing here. That's too big. I just need a regular old small, tiny aggregate station. Let's go that way. We can flip it. I know citizens happiness is low. Back off. What we don't want, we don't want this going here because they will just straight up. All right, so we are going to do uh, gravel here, which does require a road simply for uh, the masses. And what are they saying here? We've got a lot. Citizen health too low, missing resource gravel. Uh, no, what you're going to do is you are going to consume construction waste. Hopefully he straights up. Am I going to have to like filter through all that stuff? Why is this such a thing? It is a thing. So we're going to have to get a general separation thing. So we're going to do just a little bit of terraforming. And I will say, like, despite everything we built, like, ladies and gentlemen, we have only lost, like, a couple hundred thousand rubles. Which is impressive, in my opinion. Like, 100%. Also, I just saw a clone building that I want to use. Very nice. Okay, so we can do... We don't need aluminium. Yes, I said that weird on purpose because I think it's hilarious. Um, and then... This is such a roundabout way of going about this. Alright, cool. Oh, we need to also need to do work. Um, we need to do... Uh, drinking water. We're really kind of really bad about the drinking water aspect. By all definitions, if it works... Sweet. Everyone should be hunky-dory happy over here now. Drinking is poor wallet quality. Well, just boo on you. But now, as you can see, our mixed waste is being added. And I actually think that it's working pretty darn well. They're at least now being able to gather all the mixed waste. I guess they're not over here either. I guess they're getting to that point. Like, we had to just really, really use things up. 
All right, cool. And then do we have people working here? We do have one person working here. In which case, this is where that construction waste is. And it is solely construction waste, which I think is great. And so the more people that we get over here, the more willing people are hopefully going to be able to start exporting it. And then that's where we can go, hey, let's go from here <laughs> to here and you guys can start that way and the more people that come again the better off we're going to be all right and then these people are just like they it's, it's working as efficiently as it can without having a dedicated workforce oh because it can't reach son of a flipping biscuit there we go now that should really help that should get them working really really well uh, and then, yeah, I, I got to figure out how to tell this guy to go away. We may just have to sell the vehicle. There we go. All right, so these guys have a ton of construction waste. These guys aren't doing anything as a result of that. So let's go ahead and purchase a new vehicle. Whether or not I did this right, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to do a waste truck. We're going to get two of these boyos. And we're going to say, hey, I want you to load anything here. And I want you to dump anything there. We're going to start doing that. And then how much do they have here? They only have 11 tons. So we only really need one person. Uh, but this should be able to start processing this waste a little quicker. And then again, that's going to hopefully start. We're going to, you know what? We're going to do this. Your sole purpose is just to run that route. And then we're going to build one more. And then we're going to have you go straight from here to here. That is your only purpose in life. Because we are basically limiting our ability to produce because we just have so much flip and flap and mixed, uh, mixed garbage. And then these guys are going to come over here and hopefully be able to start pumping uh, gravel into over here. Come on, do what I say. Yes, brilliant. Awesome. And that's going to fill up rather quickly too. They don't have a ton of workers. We may have to expand this bus station, which is ridiculous. But also really cool. All right. Well, let's see what else were we actually... I don't remember even now what we were going to do. We do have the start of our construction. We do have, I guess, the capabilities to work on... Let's, you know what? Let's build Let's build some of the things that they need to start, uh, to start becoming more loyal, as it were. Because, let's face it, we need some loyalty things. Uh, the Gallery of Art. I don't really know that that's necessary. The Palace of Communism. That's an interesting one. No, I think what we need to do is do some state infrastructure. So we have, is a technical university necessary or is a medical more needed? Um, we could start doing uh, education, right? City accounting, technical services. I don't know what technical services does, uh, but let's go into university halls of residence. Oh no, I see what it is. Let's do a small headquarters of the party. Uh, let's show the impressiveness of, of the Communist Party. There we go. Ambulances haven't arrived. Well, I suppose that means we should go ahead and purchase some more. Should be able to treat things nice and easy now. Okay, cool. Sweet. So, what we need to do here, this is one of the cool things, is that uh, one of the uh, drug, uh, drinking water, these people are obsessed. The minimal government loyalty we can set as like ridiculously high because we only want the most uh, the most studious of people. All right, cool. So we are going to start hopefully uh, integrating the local population to be able to be uh, much more loyal to us. And I don't know where we can see that. Secret policing to visit the city's homes to display their government loyalty level. I don't know that I even have that. Technical University, we have an orphanage. Oh, I need complex stuff to even worry about that. Okay, that's fine. Secret police, here we go. Yeah, we're, 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 we're in this. We're in this for the long haul. We need to figure out who is loyal to us and who is not. That is of utmost, utmost importance in order to uh, be able to securely go after the state. So water is poor quality. Let me know your comment section. What you do for, for quality, how to increase water quality. 
That would be uh, mucho de appreciated. And then we're going to purchase some vehicles. I know, like, this is the funny thing. Like, we can try and be as nonchalant as we want. But the deal is, there is only one type of people in our current city who are able to even afford one of these. And it's going to be the Secret Service. So it's going to be like, oh, I wonder who this is. Um, we're going to do and just do 100% there. And that's going to increase as time goes on. But yeah, it's like... Are you really Secret Service when the only people that are able to drive are going to be Secret Service agents? Like, really? <laughs> so it's 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 a fun it's a fun little scenario here where like Secret Service is going to start going around and chilling, but uh, it's going to be very very obvious who and what is going on here. Uh, I absolutely love it. And so one of the last things that we can kind of do to wrap up the episode is uh, we could do a large hospital if we wanted to. Uh, but we're going to at least do a basic hospital over here, provide everyone with the services that they really need uh, in order for us to uh, increase happiness and increase health. Because I think I'm, I'm tired of seeing citizen health too low. <laughs> like, let's face it, that's really, really annoying. And so if we can uh, start working on that, I think it'd be a good thing. And again, it'll bring in all the local populace, uh, at least most of the local populace. Uh, into an area where they can start uh, receiving the benefits of the glorious Soviet Empire. So they should be able to start uh, increasing the health. And you can see there the health change is already doing really, really good. Now, admittedly, we do have some pollution issues. I'm not going to worry about that because I just don't care. I don't care enough at all. But we are making a little bit of dough. We need to make a lot more dough than what we have been making, but it's all right. We are making our gravel, which should be working well. It's not working well. We need to get that resolved just uber quick. And now we can see that our gravel is, or our coal storage is so efficient that we're actually like stored up. Like there's nothing else that we can do. So we need to be able to export it. So I think in the next episode, we are finally going to be able to get to a point where we can start exporting this stuff. And we're going to export it in large quantities. Uh, we are going to do a train aggregate loading in the next one to be able to efficiently take on uh, all the stuff and things and we are going to have to worry about all of that we may have to go down here and figure out somewhere for this stuff to go uh, but ladies and gentlemen this is a blast like i am having a ton of fun we are losing a little bit of money but even right now we're outpacing uh, importation which is great that's awesome and we do, are getting more unemployed workers which means that our population should be going up and i do wish i understood all of the things here but I would like to see, okay, actually our population's going down. Oh no. I wonder if people are actually like dying off. Regardless, like whatever's happening, we are, uh, we are doing okay. Like we're not having any problems. Health and citizens and happiness is, is all low and well and good. It's okay. We'll be good right there. I'm actually going to look into, uh, Bahalios. Did I say that right? Uh, super cool, uh, YouTuber. Go look him up. He's done workers and resources for a heck and long time. I need to find some ways to increase my religious happiness. And so we need to we need to rock and roll that as much as possible. So prefer students according to education. Nah, we're not gonna worry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. Not a ton of expansion, but definitely a lot more processes that we are addressing in general. If you enjoyed this video at all, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments in the comments section down below. Oh, I am excited. This will start vamping up a little bit faster. More episodes uh, will be coming and not so much spacing in between. Again, the weekend kind of threw things off. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is Havoc. I'll see you in the next one.